Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now I haven't done this in quite a while and I've made some big changes to my mobile device, in my case the Nexus 5. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick look on what is on my Android device. Now I'm going to be going over some of the applications that I'm currently using and also what launcher I'm using and just in general the overall setup of the Nexus 5. So, let's take a look. Okay guys, so I'm going to come back to my home screen later on in the video and also talk about the launcher that I'm currently using. Now in terms of the applications that I've actually got on my device, I don't really have all that many that aren't standard on an Android phone. So as you can see here, the top two rows, pretty much apart from Facebook, are the standard applications that you're going to be getting. So you've got Calculator, Calendar, Camera, Chrome, Clock, Contacts and Drive. And I do have Facebook. I'm not necessarily a huge Facebook fan. I don't really use it all that much, but it just seems that these days it's the only way to connect with friends and family in terms of organizing events and things. So if you're not on Facebook, you sometimes miss things. And that's really the only reason that I've got it. I've then got Facets, which is a great application for getting some awesome wallpapers by a great artist called Justin Maller, and I will link his website down below. Now, the actual wallpapers themselves are super high quality, and there's 365 to choose from, so you get one for each day of the year. I've then got Google Fit, which is my kind of health application of choice, and it just helps me kind of keep track of the steps I have throughout the day. Now, it did integrate really well with my Android Wear device, the LG G Watch, which unfortunately I have now sold, but I will be doing a separate video on to why I got rid of that in the future. I then have Giganticon, and basically what this is, is an application that allows me to put giant icons on my home screen. Now, the reason why I do this is when I'm doing specific app reviews, I like to have a giant icon that I can use for kind of intros and outros, and just in general for the aesthetics of the video. I then got Gmail, which is my email client of choice. I've tried other email clients like Mailbox and Boxer, but I always come back to Gmail because I find the integration with Android really nice and just in general the app does exactly what I need it to do. I've also then got Google+, Plus, which is my social network of choice. I'm quite an active user on Google+, Plus, so be sure to follow me down below, and I'll put all the links in the description for all of the social networks as well. Hangouts I don't really use on a very regular basis. I mainly use it for video chats with Barry and also other members of my family as well. I've then got Instagram, which again, I am a huge fan of, but one thing that I don't do is use the Instagram filters in the editing, and I'll show you in a second which application I use for that. I've then got Google Keep, which I've started to use a lot less, as I'm using a new application called Swipes and I've done a full review on that and I'll have that linked down in the description below. I've then got a new camera application which I've just discovered which a lot of people have been using in the past but I've only really just found it and it is called L Camera. Now it's a really great camera application and one that I can highly recommend. Again if you want to see some full reviews on any of the applications that I'm talking about be sure to leave them in the comment section down below or on Twitter. I've then got Google Maps, Facebook Messenger and also the Google Messenger as I find it really easy for text messaging as like I say I only really use Hangouts for video. On the next page, and you can see here that I've only got two, I've then got some games and things. So I've got Monument Valley, which is my favorite Android game. I just think the art style and just the way that the game actually performs is extremely awesome. I've then got NatWest, which is my banking application of choice, so I can keep track of my finances and things, move money around if needs be. I've then got the phone, photos, Play Store and settings, which again are all stock applications. I've then got Slayin, which is an awesome game and one that I can highly recommend. It's got some awesome visuals and the playstyle is really easy to pick up and play. Now Snapseed is my photo editor of choice and this is basically Snapseed 2.0. Now this is what I use to edit all of my photos before I put them onto Google Plus and also before I put them onto Instagram. I just crop it to make it a square, edit it as I need to, as I find that the editing functionality of Snapseed is way above what Instagram is currently doing. I've then got Speed Test, which is a great application to test internet connections. I'm kind of strange when it comes to that, as I really want to know what other people are using. And if I go to different places around the UK, to different homes on Wi-Fi or 3G and 4G, I do like to just do a quick speed test to see what average speeds I'm getting. I've then got Spotify, which is my music streaming service of choice. Now, I was using Google Play Music for a very long time, but I switched over to Spotify just because it's free. There are some advertisements but it only kind of only ever happens every three to four songs, which doesn't really bother me all that much. It's kind of like listening to the radio, and I'm not really too bothered by it as I've got a huge library of music that I can listen to pretty much anywhere I get phone signal or on Wi-Fi. I've then got the YouTube Studio application, and this is where I keep track of all the comments that you guys are leaving, likes on videos, and just in general how well the videos are actually performing in terms of views and also revenue. We've then got the Swipes application, which as I mentioned is my note taking and reminders application of choice. And as I've mentioned, I've done a full review of that, which is in the description below. 
True Skate is pretty much the game that I put onto every Android device that I own. I just find it really therapeutic to just kind of skate around. The controls are really intuitive, the graphics are awesome, and there's a load of different parks being released on a very regular basis, so you don't really get bored quickly. I then got Twitter, and again, I'm quite active on Twitter, not necessarily as myself, but more as Copper vs. Glass. As in terms of replying to comments and things, and favorited videos and things like that, we do get a lot of that on Twitter as opposed to some other of these social networks. I then got WhatsApp, which is pretty much how I contact everybody that I know. I've got groups for family and friends and individuals and things. And with the new material design update, it looks incredibly awesome and fits in a lot better with what Google are trying to push with their material design. I've then got YouTube, and in there I've got a bunch of different subscriptions, and I watch a ton of different YouTube videos. Now, it's really good because it allows me to watch other people's content and maybe kind of take from their videos in terms of some things that I can learn in the future. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that I'm copying other videos, but if there is something that I like, I try and incorporate it in my own way and mix it up a little bit. And don't forget that, you know, looking at other people's work is always handy to learn new techniques. I've then got Zombie Nation, which is a new game that I'm trying out. I haven't been playing it all that long, but the graphics and also the gameplay are extremely fun, and it's something that I'm probably going to be doing an actual feature video on in the future, so be sure to subscribe to get that content. In terms of the actual launcher that I'm using, I am using Nova Launcher, which has quickly become my favourite launcher. There was a time when Android Lollipop came out that I stopped using launchers altogether because I was a huge fan of what Android was doing. But now though, I like using custom icon packs, having a custom setup at the top here so I've got my Google search bar, and I've also got my clock with my alarms and things on there as well. And just in general, I like to set it up in a specific way. So I've only got one page as you can see here, and the app tray I've made look exactly like stock Android, which again with the material update to Nova Launcher is super easy to do. Now Nova Launcher is pretty much my favourite launcher of all time, and any of these applications that I'm talking about that don't come stock on my device, I will have links down in the description down below. And that is pretty much going to do it guys. I'm going to put a poll up on Google Plus to see what you guys want to see next in terms of app reviews. As obviously I've gone over some of the applications that I currently use here on my Nexus 5. And obviously if you guys want a more in-depth look at any of these applications, then again you can head over to our Google Plus page to look at the poll to give your vote or leave it in the comment section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to get some more great content in the future. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.